Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back in a new video. Another gun show. Um, of the last one of this year. Today is December 10th. Yep, December 10th, 2017. And uh, first off, if I sound a little hoarse, I had a bug um, earlier in the week. So I'm just, I'm just getting over that. I'm just coughing up a bunch of yellow crap and you know, it's a little, pretty disgusting. <laughs> but um, another reason why you may not have seen me is, uh, well, for two reasons. First one, Doom 3 BFG Edition. Um, this this is actually pretty... This I played... Uh, the first Doom game I ever played was the newest one that came out in... Um, it came out last year in May. I played that right after... I played that shortly after my birthday. And I was... So, you know, I, I've gotten really into the series. I saw the movie uh, many years ago. I, I, I like the movie. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and I figured I'd go ahead and pick this up for PlayStation 3. I don't have a PS4 yet. But I, when I, I still got my PS3 and I got this one. It comes with the poster, you know, the Doom Marine fighting off the fighting off the demons on the uh, on Mars surface. And this is the BFG edition. It comes with the first two original Dooms. And I, I beat Doom three, and I just recently beat the first Doom. And I gotta say, probably the worst level on that on that entire game was um, Path to Limbo. But my favorite level is. Um, See, it's uh, the spawning vats, and that's because my favorite song, Waltz, Waltz of the Demons, is, uh, is on that level. But that's where I, you know, mentioned this game, and when I just p purchased last week, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> I first got this when I was in 10th grade, uh, for Christmas. Um, made the mistake of letting someone borrow it, and they, they, took it, they took it to New York, so they let someone else borrow it, that person took it to New York and sold it. So, I paid a fool's tax for that one, but I went ahead and got Greatest Hits on the PS3, and... A lot of nostalgia, uh, remembering, you know, remembering playing this game back when I was in high school. So, I've been playing this game too. But I did take the time out of uh, my video game sessions to go ahead and go to the, um, go to the gun show at the fairgrounds. And I bought a few things. Um, first thing I got uh, was a cat tourniquet. And I got this for 10 bucks. And it, the way it works is you put it, uh, you know, if you, you, have a, you have a cut somewhere... And you want, to, you want to get the bleeding to stop. You put the tourniquet on, you know, adjust it, adjust it for the size. And you use this and you turn it to uh, put pressure where you want the blood to stop. And you keep it on for, I think, like 10 or 15 minutes. And then you release it. And then you, you know, to let the, to uh, keep it from, keep, to keep the blood flow continuous. But not, you know, not to where it will keep spilling out. But uh, there are many videos online on how to use one of these. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check one of them. I'm gonna check some of them out just so I get the, make sure I'm using this properly. But I saw it for ten bucks, so I figured I couldn't you know, pass up on that. Uh, I got a magazine uh, for my Browning High Power. Right now, it's loaded with uh, Defender ammunition. And this is made in. Uh, I believe this is made. In, this is made in South Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, this is made in uh, North Carolina. Sorry, and. Um, I just got this magazine. This holds uh, 14 rounds. I paid 20 bucks for this. Uh, I was told it was from uh, Brazilian military. Um, the, I guess the hanger they use is probably similar to the high power, or maybe it's the high power itself. Uh, and one thing I noticed is that this magazine does fit a little snug, um, as do several as do several uh, high power magazines. But uh, it seems to um, it seems to hold rounds, and uh, I'll be hope, hope to take it to the range to test it out. So that was 20 bucks. And shout out to Kenny, or well, the Kennys and Dale. I always, I always uh, visit them when I go to the gun shows at the fairgrounds. Um, I went ahead and bought some ammo from them. Let's see, I got some, some, some old stock stuff. This uh, Remington Golden Saber uh, HPJ High Performance Jacket, and it's 357 Magnum. Uh, these are 125 grain brass jacket hollow points, you know, made in USA. And um, they were only, so he had a. He was checking to see how much were in the, actually in the box. See, this is a full box. Uh, he had one empty box. He had one box that had six rounds missing from it. And this was it. It was the Remington Core Lock. It's a 357 Magnum, uh, 165 grain Core Lock. I think it's this particular uh, type of uh, hollow point that this uh, that this brand uh, Remington uses for this type of ammunition. Um, 3 357 Magnum. And so this round, yeah, this was missing six rounds. So he was going to let me uh, have this one for 15. So I gave him a 20. So he gave me a 20. So I said, can you change back? Well, 
Turns out I paid for the, I paid fifteen for this, and the rest, <laughs> the rest can't go. The rest went. Uh, the rest of the five dollars went towards this box. So I guess this the box was a uh, wasn't all the way full. So I got some uh, defensive ammo for my three three fifty seven Magnum. And all this cost twenty bucks. All in all, I spent uh, somewhere around I think six, I would say sixty five because I paid parking and paid eight at the door. So yeah, so that was sixty three dollars. So five dollars parking, eight dollars at the door, and fifty dollars worth of gear. And I say it's not bad. Um, there were there weren't were many people at the show this time around. I think it's because you know everyone's trying to save up money to you know get gifts elsewhere. But um, yeah, I figured I, I still you know peek around and see what the stuff people have selling. Um, didn't really have anything in mind for myself. These are just things I bought just because you know they caught my eye. But uh, hopefully the next show, I think maybe there may be another show next month at Jamil Temple or elsewhere I may travel um, I may do some more traveling as I did to go into the Greenville show a few months ago and check out some other stuff over there but uh, please uh, share, uh, share your thoughts leave a comment in the comment section if you want to make a donation to the channel uh, just go to my home just go to the YouTube homepage look for the give up that cheese button and go take it to my PayPal account where you can make a donation uh, new gripes complaints send me a PM I see what I can do to address them oh and sadly at this show I did not find <laughs> I did not find a high vis yellow tactical potassium dispensing unit, aka banana. You know where I could, I guess, use a banana for scale for many of the stuff I just showed you in this video. But that's my video, another gun show. Uh, today is December tenth. Keep looking at my watch. December tenth, two thousand seventeen. I'm Edward Jones, and you guys take care.